This week on Lucky Fish, we make the local delicacy, fish cakes, present the Mongolian flag to Ascension's honorary ambassador, provision the boat for departure, and make a major change to our plans. With so much fish on board, we needed to learn new recipes. We made a batch of fish cakes to a St. Helena recipe. My very first fish cake. Yeah. One of the pleasures of living on a boat is the opportunity to spend time on simple tasks, like preparing a meal. In our busy land lives, these tasks seem like a hassle. They interfere with other things that seem urgent or important. At sea, there are no pressing distractions. We have time to find enjoyment in preparing a meal. We had really taken a shine to the new Ascension Island flag, made up of the blue ensign, defaced by a coat of arms with green turtles, sooty terns, and green mountain. Craig agreed to a swap. It's a ceremonial moment, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is the start of the Mongolian takeover of the Central Island. Look out. Thank you. There you go, handing over ceremony. It is the Governor of Ascension Island receiving the Mongolian flag <laughs> from Mongolian Prin flag? Princess Ascension of Mongolia, flag. Princess Sire. Jeez, what a beautiful flag. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wow, that's a, that's a very special one. That, yeah. that, no one will know what that's that is. That's the top one, top part. So that's the top part? Like yeah, that. Yeah. But those represent something I forgot. But the, this is a moon, sun, fire. Beautiful. Beautiful. The yellow symbol on the Mongolian flag is called the Soyumbo. The flame at the top has three branches representing the connection of past, present, and future. Fire is seen as a symbol of prosperity and success. The sun and moon represent the sky. Mongolians respect and pray for the eternal blue sky, which is also represented by the central blue band. The two triangles symbolise the spear and the arrow. They are both pointed down to show the defeat of the enemy. Round is supposed to contain an unstable spirit. To Mongolians, the yin and yang symbol stands for two fish. Fish look after the country, as the fish never close their eyes. The two vertical rectangles stabilise the fish and express safety and strength. The horizontal rectangles represent justice and honesty. white wine or white rum or something. Lemon. Yeah, we got lemon, yep. One and giant uh, fish cake. Yeah. <laughs> Looks great. Just fabulous. Ascension Island had been our first real opportunity to test out the new Takakat dinghy.
Its light weight and stability made it the perfect tender for our cat. Yeah, get that off of there. Can you do it? Having a bow like a landing craft made getting in and out fairly easy, even at the dinghy dock. Our <laughs> So we've got slightly, uh, oh we've got very fresh mahi and not quite as fresh as we'd like tuna. Seven day old, it's been in the fridge, seems fine. Was going to be sushi but we missed our opening. Now it becomes fish cakes. About the same volume as the uh, fish which has been minced. Looks close. I usually use the balsamic vinegar bottle. Yeah, right. Mash the potatoes. Sure. Can you yeah. mix that? That'd be beautiful, yeah. I've got a few. Yeah, okay. It's a potato mill. <laughs> We'd been on Ascension Island for 10 days and we were now ready to continue our voyage. The next leg was to take us to Brazil, but after talking to other sailors, our plans had changed. The opportunity to spend three weeks to a month at sea on a direct leg to Barbados had become a much more attractive option. All that remained was to stock the boat for a month at sea for three people. We found the Armed Forces Discount Supermarket, the Naffy Shop and spent £400 sterling to stock the boat for 30 days at sea.
Your hands. Yeah. <laughs> My hand if is I clean, the, I just washed it. If I get the fish cake with the diamond ring, can I keep the ring? Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. How many pounds? That's got to be about three kilos there, doesn't it? So we're going to get. Uh, well, one kilo makes 18 to 20. That's ridiculous. There's 60 fish cakes there. No, can't be. No. Well, they make small ones on the table in there. Tiny. Tiny, I know. Yeah, they're allowed to eat for one. Oh, uh, eat for one. One fish one cake. Our new friends, Dean and Simon, arranged for us to visit the Met Office at the airfield. I was keen to see how wide the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or Doldrums, or ITCZ, was likely to be as we crossed the equator. What time were you thinking about leaving tomorrow? Eh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, if I put this on tomorrow... Can you see how it shifts ever so slightly further south? Right. This is the ITCZ in here. Now, yep. it's not being particularly active at the moment. Yes. Um, and I can show you the lightning as well. So it's actually quite well out to the east in the Atlantic there. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's terribly much in the way of ITCZ on the western side of the central Atlantic. No, so this is the latest satellite image. Okay. Uh, midday today. So you can see that it's kind of in here. Yeah. What it has happened is it is slightly further south yes. than, than usual. Over the next few days it is due to track ever so slightly um, eastwards and yeah. as it does so it looks like it may give us a little bit of a headache yeah. potentially. These little crosses, these are all the lightning strikes in right, there. Right, okay. And you can see there's not a lot once you get past 6 north, you know, that's where the cloud bank ends. But Right. So I can get you the surface winds to go yeah, tomorrow, right, so I'll tomorrow, say midday. Yeah. So it's like 12 knots, 10, 12 yeah, knots, or where that is. Yeah, from east, yeah. Yeah, south east, it? Nice, good. Now you have to shut the door. straight through from the front, so maybe shut those back, that, that, yeah, okay. That last four, I don't know what you did, but the last four were... They are really good. So have you had much luck with your rain catcher? We've been, uh, <laughs> we've been banging away with ours. I think we got a good downpour this morning. We've got about half a... Perhaps we've got about 10 litres out of ours, I guess. It was our last night, so we visited Betty and Lewis on Ave del Mar for fish cakes and farewells before setting off in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of early, very early, early morning. I'm not sure what time it was, but yes. Yeah, we're in there. Cheers. Cheers. It's a lovely sunset, isn't it? Look at that. Next time on Lucky Fish, we see land for the last time for a month, encounter a Chinese longline fishing boat, get a visit from friends and have our first taste of squally ITCZ weather.